This is a story about mono and how easy it is to find mono without having to open up your cocoons. This is a very bright light that um, I'm able to shine through a cocoon. This right here in this cocoon, you can see a solid object. That's a bee going inside there. Now I'm going to actually try one that I have already looked at that I'm confident is a um, has mono in it. Notice the difference inside here. There's a whole bunch of little tiny, tiny little, these are larvae, tiny little um, white somethings, I know. So as I'm going to open this up and look at it, using a razor blade, I'm just going to cut open the, um, being very careful, I'm just cutting open the end of this guy and we find inside there just a slew of little white larvae that are all going to spill out down here. And these larvae, these are all monodontomerous and this mono is, uh, they've taken over this cocoon and they're just, um, unfortunately have uh, the female penetrated the side of a, one of the tubes we had and they laid their eggs inside here. The uh, larva, the mason bee larva, spun the cocoon around the other uh, larva with it. After a little bit, these larva took over and ate up our healthy larva, the mason bee larva, and these guys are just now out there waiting to develop into this guy. And this, I've already killed it, but this is a female mature monodontomerous. And so you can see these little guys in there. I know I'm kind of messing with them. Hey, sorry guys, but I don't want you eating my healthy mason bees. So I was able to use this bright light to look through and to check. When I was suspicious, I know this is a bee. No doubt. It's all black. There's one big piece. And this one over here has a whole bunch of little things in there. This is called candling. 